Ladies and gentlemen, we've got some good news for you in the info war. Julie Bass from Oak Park, Michigan, has had the charges dropped against her of neat little pretty boxes, garden boxes in her front yard growing tomatoes and things like that. We've all seen the photos, but even if it was ugly, it's her private property. The zoning law says you can have a garden in your front lawn. The inspector didn't like it. And tens of thousands of calls later, international news covering it, the city has now dropped the charges. Now, why is this so exciting? When this all started up earlier in the week and she refused to go along with their orders, they said, we're going to put you in jail for 90 plus days. And the uh, code inspector went on the news and said she you know, basically deserves the jail time. Then they spun it yesterday and said, well, she's demanding a trial. You know, I mean, how dare her demand a jury trial as if she was the one causing the problem. Just let us put you in jail and that's the way it is. I've seen this in Austin, Texas, $2,000 a day fines for three inch grass. You know what I did? They were doing this to old folks and, and trying to take their homes. I drove over and showed city council people's yards with higher grass and city buildings. But this is another example of when the people stand up, we get results. Now the fight's going on in court sign Arizona where they fired the mayor. The, the city council and police chief have fired the mayor. You can't fire someone who's elected because he's exposing that phantom paychecks are being sent out uh, to people and they can't find out what the city council's doing, raising taxes. That's become an international issue. And these small towns and these events are a microcosm of the rest of the country and the rest of the world. The level of tyranny we will live under is the exact level of tyranny that we put up with. So I've got a message to all the control freaks, to all the tattletales, to all the code inspectors who love to white glove inspect people and harass folks. I've got a message to you. We've got $376 billion laundered by Wells Fargo and Wachovia of narcotics money with them running the drug aircraft. We've got U.S. troops admittedly on record growing the opium in Afghanistan. We have got a government that's stolen $27 trillion in the last three years and given to offshore banks. We have the dollar being destroyed. These budget talks are all fake. The dollar's being destroyed. We're in hundreds of trillions of dollars of debt, not that we owe, but that we've been signed on to. Debates about $14 trillion in debt is nothing. Okay? Grow up, get in the real world. Criminals are looting everything and destroying our stable society. They claim they're selling you a police state in the name of stability. They're giving you the opposite. So all you control freaks and people that have a fetish to call the police on your neighbor for shooting firecrackers off or have a fetish for calling the police on your neighbor when they spank their kid that runs out in the street, you need to grow up and stop being control freaks and realize that you need to use those energies against the corrupt government and mega corporations as our founding fathers wisely talked about instead of attacking each other. This is nothing but divide and conquer, but we salute uh, Ms. Bass, Mrs. Bass. We salute everybody that called and took action, and it's another example that freedom fails when we sit on our butts, but every time we stand up, we win. All over the country, all over Canada, all over Europe, they're removing sodium fluoride from the water because people are taking the government studies and showing it to the people and showing how it's causing cancer. On every front, if we stand up, we win. We've got a lot of other special reports coming up. You can see them at an airport. We're going somewhere special. California. Visit Bohemian Grove. I'll let you know later. Great job, folks. We'll see you at InfoWars.com.